The airport authority announced today it is looking at spending millions of dollars to keep trespassers off that property. CBS 17's Holden Korwicki is getting answers tonight about exactly how the airport authority plans to do that. Holden, you have been covering this from day one. What do you know now? Well, Russ, if you've ever driven down Old Reedy Creek Road near Lake Crabtree, it can be kind of hard to tell where Lake Crabtree, Umstead State Park, and the RDU property intersect with each other despite all the signs, but pretty soon that boundary could be marked with barbed wire. We have an obligation. We need to follow the law. According to RDU Airport Authority CFO Bill Sandifer, hikers and bikers have caused serious environmental issues by trespassing on airport property, and there's only one way to stop it. We're going to clear a 30-foot wide strip of property on RDU property and put a six-foot high, three-strand of barbed wire chain link fence right in the middle of it. Sandifer says it would cost the airport more than $6 million to build 18 miles worth of fence on the property next to Umstead State Park that has been targeted for a quarry. They're talking about all this damage that the trails are doing. What the heck is deforesting a beautiful piece of land, taking all the dirt and blowing up the land for rocks? You know, how is that not environmentally destructive? We're not a park. We're not a recreational activity. We need to actually keep unlawful activity off the property. That's why we're doing a fence. However, even Sandiford admits there are still other options on the table. Uh, I'm said State Park Division could lease the property from the Airport Authority, and then we put the fence in a different location. The Umstead Coalition has offered to buy the property in the past for roughly six and a half million dollars, but Natalie Lou says at the end of the day, it's not about the money. If there's no quarry, most of this goes away. Quite frankly, the airport authority is in a position of significant exposure and legal liability from what's happening. It's time to put that to an end. Representatives from the airport plan to meet with the state to discuss their options in early January. They plan to make a formal presentation to the airport authority at their January 20th meeting. Live in Cary, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.